All right, boy. So I'm going to be very honest with you here. You help me decide this because I don't understand this at all. Today, we have the 110 update preview maintenance notice. Now, with how Netrunner has been handling these last updates, um, I don't understand what they plan to do with Global, right? Because again, we have to catch up to JP. That has to occur. Uh, but again, first, the patch notice dropped 30 minutes later. Uh, not, not even an hour or 30 minutes later than it usually does. So I was like, okay, it didn't drop in um, the usual time of 12. I'm like, okay, maybe they just don't plan on dropping a dev notes uh, or a patch notes rather. And one third rolls around, they dropped it. So I'm, I'm curious if they're changing the timing, if they're doing whatever. I don't know about that. But also, JP just had this update last week, which means officially um, the gap is gone. We're officially now caught up, but we're four days late, right? Thursday, um, JP has their update day. What is today for us? It is, well, again, patch notes drop for us. Monday into Tuesday. That's our update day. So I'm guessing they're either plan. We're going to talk about this today. If you're new to the channel, like and subscribe. Let's jump into it. <laughs> also about this thing, I am giving away the 15 codes tomorrow and the day after. So make sure you guys jump over on Twitter so that I can DM you. Make sure to follow me up. Uh, make sure you're just subscribed. And that's really all you got to do. Be ready for it. It's going to be a blast. So if you want to win some coupon codes for 30 gems, join up. By the way, thanks again, Netmarble. You're the best for that. But yes, back to what we were saying here. So we have the entire update. It's going to be basic stuff. We're going to have new stages to the main Tower of Trials, not a separate Tower of Trials like the last one, the main one that is currently in the game that got reset. So if you were able to complete it, that was 100 gems you went and picked up. With this update, you're going to get 30 more gems. So yes, more free gems in here with two guaranteed SSR tickets um, on stage 14, which I believe 13 is a little bit difficult, but 14 should be easier than 15. I haven't seen yet, so I will check that out. But overall, those are the three stages that have been added in. We have a new artifact card for Matrona also added in. And for the Hawk Pass, we also have all of this stuff with the costumes finally returning. If you weren't able to pick them up, you can now pick up those events. Beautiful, amazing costumes that every single soul loves. They are now back. This is your chance. If you missed out on that entire event, they're pretty cheap too. They're only 30 um, mileage points. So go and buy them right now. They may never return again. And I told you since the last time this happened, it's been months since we've had that. So please take advantage of it. Go and get it. The Hawk Pass also resets. So you have all of these rewards to go and pick up. Again, the consecutive bonus is still active, and we have one of the best events for SSR Penance. The Village Donation event is back. I'm, be I'm betting right now you've already used all your gold if you did take care of the other event, so you might be down bad right now, but again, it will cost you $6 million to get everything, and then all of the other stuff like like, the, like this right now is ending, so if you need it, um, go and buy Burnhill's costume before it's removed, and if you need these stuff, um, go and just check it out. Um, this will be leaving, which is in fact the banner that is currently there. Uh, which is Dan Fordless. So if you need that, go and buy it. But again, back to what I was saying at the beginning of the video, the entire thing that I don't get is when Netmarble is doing their update days now. Are they going to go and do it like exactly um, Thursday when JP gets it, we get it at the same time? Or are we just going to stay four days late? Every week, um, they get their update. We really, again, this works for Netmarble because you can't save any gems, right? You can't save any gems in time for what um, is to come. But you can wait every single time till the end of the uh, the banner cycle and wait till JP gets their announcement. Then you can still save those gems we're playing on that banner for the next one. So it doesn't really benefit them all the way, but it does benefit them that the four week thing where you can save like 400 to what, 600 gems is gone. That's gone already. We had two weeks, which you can save again 200 um, to 400 or like again, 300 gems in that time frame. That's gone. Yeah, four days, which what can you really save in four days, right? Like what, a max of uh, 80, 90 gems? which it doesn't help you, but it does give you that time. Like you can check the next banner. You can understand like, okay, I currently have Melly on, you know, global midway through this first banner drops, which is going to be whatever, a latte, whatever it's going to be. Then I, like before he leaves the last few days, you have what a three day, four day gap to understand. Okay. This is a uh, potential, let's say collab. Okay. Now I can save, I can move up. Um, I'll be fine. Is that their plan? Or are they breaking it down, right? Because if we go over here, um, it looks like the entire date for this is also whack. It's like 110 to 227. I thought uh, Hawk Passes last four weeks um, because they have like four weeks of challenges. And it, like this also confirms my entire thing that it, you're just going to stay four days um, ahead or four days rather um, behind JP because this ends on the 27th, which is a Sunday. Update days are Monday, Tuesday. So um, I'm guessing that's the entire case. Also, remember Melly leaves on the 8th, which is also a Tuesday. So it looks like that's their entire plan. They're going to stay on regular update days. We're not changing. We're going to stay like that. We're just going to be four days, I guess you can say, behind JP. Move about it. So again, the new plan probably is just save until the last day. I mean, if you really don't care about the banner or if like you're on the middle of it. They're like, you know what? Maybe I should wait. Maybe a collab is next. Maybe something else is next. I'll see. So you can wait till that four-day juncture. Or you can just go and spend. So 
Uh, we'll see. I'm guessing we're already caught up. This is the entire thing, but I don't think we're going to actually fully be caught up where it's same day releases. Um, so you just have to wait, what, four days of hype and then you'll get your unit. I'm guessing that's their entire route about this. Let me know what you think about down below in the comments. Um, do you think it's going to be, again, caught up fully by the time we get the next Fez or whatever? Or do you think this is what the plan is just to stay um, four days ahead, give them time to do translations, all that stuff, get the global team ready for it? Uh, what do you think the goal is? So that's all I got for you guys here today. Update for you, made this notice, brought us new, um, of, like the best costumes back that you can finally purchase. Some gems, some content. Go enjoy it. Thank you again for watching. Peace out, everyone. Enjoy the rest of your day. And I'm out.